If King Frederick of Denmark passes away, Queen Mary will be well cared for by the people, according to a proposed bill. The Australian-born Queen will receive approximately $2.5 million Australian dollars, DKK $11,300,000, per year, and will be allowed to reside in a Danish castle. The monthly pension for the widowed Queen would be around $28,000 Australian dollars. She will likely stay in the family's mansion, or if not, she will be given one of the royal residences to live in, such as parts of Christiansborg Castle, Friedensborg Castle, or Brorson Castle. The proposals were submitted by Prime Minister Meta Fredrickson on April 10th as part of King Frederick's civil list. The documents also outlined the royal couple's new base salary, which is remarkably higher than the $3 million Australian dollars they received as Crown Prince and Princess. The couple could pocket just over $27 million per year, more than double what Queen Margara was given. Of this amount, $39,500 Australian dollars will be given to King Frederick and Princess Benedict, and $84,300 Australian dollars will be set aside for Crown Prince Christian, leaving the popular Danish royal couple with approximately $2.9 million Australian dollars in their coffers, or just over $2.15 million Australian dollars each month. The proposed level of the state allowance is an expression of a modernization of the royal household's financial conditions. Queen Mary's pension could be changed after the king's death, but any changes would have to be approved by Parliament. The document does not describe what would happen if the couple divorced or separated, only what will happen if the king dies before his queen.